Hello everyone. Love is perhaps the highest defined vibration within this universe. But what is love? Love is pure positive focus. When we are focusing positively towards something, we are in a vibration of love. And because this is such a high vibration, and because focusing positively enables you to hold this vibration, I want to teach you a process today. It's called looking at the world through the eyes of the inner artist. Everything in existence is an expression and an extension of source. And art is an expression. So it can be said that all things in existence are art. As an extension of source, you are imbued with the ability to create. Every being in existence is therefore at their core an artist. We are all artists. An artist celebrates beauty. An artist recognizes the beauty even in the things that are considered unanimously to be ugly. An artist recognizes what is poignant, even about the most mundane things. Beauty is defined as a characteristic that provides the perceptual experience of pleasure. We can train ourselves to see beauty in everything. We can view this earth through the eyes of our inner artist. I am convinced that this is one of the most essential spiritual practices of all. When we practice seeing the world in this way, the entire world transforms itself into a work of art. The movements of a crowd of people which once seemed erratic begin to seem like a dance. The person who once seemed obnoxious becomes a bell of mindfulness that brings us back to the present moment. You can use this process every day to enhance what you're already enjoying. You can use it so that you can recognize the beauty in the mundane things that you wouldn't have taken notice of, and you can especially use it to eradicate resistance from your being. When you feel resistance within you, that is, you're looking at something that is unwanted or unpleasant, you can practice looking at that thing through the eyes of the inner artist. Act as if you're going on a scavenger hunt for that which is truly beautiful about whatever it is that you're looking at or thinking about. This practice works towards everything, including events, people, feelings, objects, circumstances, sounds. The list goes on. It is perhaps the very best tool to use when you are visually observing something that you have resistance to. I'll give you a personal example. One day I was sitting on a park bench, and a man who walked by flicked a used cigarette butt at my feet on the sidewalk. I was revolted at first. To me, it seemed like more evidence that the world was forsaken. But I had committed myself to the practice of non-resistance, and so I reminded myself that the feeling of resistance within me was a call to ripen. It was a call to ripen my perception. Source does not recognize ugliness, it recognizes only beauty, beauty even in the rotting and deformed and afflicted. And so I made myself watch the cigarette butt for a full hour. It took 15 minutes to get past my resistance, but once those 15 minutes passed by, a greater truth was revealed to me. That greater truth was beauty. It was like a whole other world had been revealed to me, a whole other possibility of perception. I watched this object, which is unanimously considered ugly, but ugliness is no longer what I saw. I watched it floating in the breeze back and forth along a sidewalk. I watched it as it was crushed again and again under the heel of many a tennis shoe leaving little sprays of burnt tobacco on the cold cement. I realized that disguised beneath the generally assumed ugliness of this piece of garbage was the lesson of allowing. The cigarette butt was completely absent of resistance. It did not resist the dominance of the wind. It did not resist the crush of the shoe. It had given its life in service. In fact, its entire purpose for existence was to offer someone a moment of relief. And suddenly I treasured the cigarette butt that once I had been so repulsed by. Now before you make the judgment that this last exercise glorified litter, 
I want to remind you that this is not about condoning or not condoning something. It's not about condoning someone flicking a cigarette butt on the ground or not. This is not about right or wrong. This is a practice which is designed to enable you to release resistance within your being. People make an inaccurate assumption, and that is that we must be horrified into action or repulsed into action. We attach very strongly to our resistance because we are convinced that resistance will keep us on the path of righteousness. This is inaccurate. For example, we do not have to be horrified into a state of resistance in order to take action to prevent child abuse. We can instead take action to enable children to live safe, free, healthy lives from a place of inspiration. We do not have to hate cigarette butts to pick litter up off the floor. We can love a clutter-free world to pick litter up off the floor. And this is a very important distinction to make. All resistance to something does is lend energy to that thing that is unwanted. All resistance does is rot you from within. Resistance is an affliction, and it's an affliction which gives rise to great inner peace when we are able to look at the world through the eyes of the inner artist. You will feel the resistance inside you dissipate, but I don't want you to wait for something to have resistance towards to practice this particular process. Use it whenever you're feeling really good to feel even better. Use it to recognize the beauty in even the most mundane things. For example, a pen. Most of us are desensitized to the beauty within the pen because this is a mundane object we are all desensitized to. But if you take the time to look at the pen through the eyes of the inner artist, you start to recognize the craftsmanship of the ballpoint. You start to recognize the amazing geometry involved in the craftsmanship of the shaft. You begin to notice the richness and color of this ink which is inherent within the pen. You begin to appreciate the fact that this pen enables us to maintain and to keep thoughts which are fleeting. It enables us to communicate meaning through symbols. To see the world through the eyes of the inner artist is to see the world through the eyes of truth. The being within you does not recognize ugliness. Your true self only sees beauty in every single thing. It recognizes beauty, even in the things which scare you, even in the things which cause you pain. We are in pain when we recognize something as ugly and when we resist it, because in that moment we have deviated so very far from our true selves. Those moments that we feel the most resistance to something are in fact the moments which offer us the greatest opportunity. It's an opportunity to see things clearer, to see things as they really are, to recognize the beauty within every single thing. Have a good week.